All right, so we're going to take a look at the code writing examples of Nitro 4.4. So on the first one, we're supposed to create a triangle. And um, they've already got the skeleton of the code here. They've got a call to a method make number triangle, and they've got the bare bones of that method. And we need to implement that method. And this section is on nested loops. So I think I want to start off with a loop that goes from 1 to 5. And then inside of that loop, another loop that goes from 1, not to 5, but to whatever the outside loop is. And then system dot out dot print line. No, not print line, just print the value of j and a space. And then after going through that loop, then system dot out dot print line. So we go down to the next line. So when i is 1, the j loop is just going to go from 1 to 1. And the only thing it's going to print out is the j value of 1. Then it's going to go down to the next line. i will be 2 now. And so since the i counter is 2, the j loop is going to go from 1 to 2. So it'll print the number 1 with a space, and then it'll print the number 2 with a space, and then it'll that loop will be done, and it'll print line and go to the next line. So I'm pretty sure this is what we want to have on this. And let's just check that versus the assignment. I think that looks okay. All right, now on 4.4.7, it's a little more tricky. We still want a nested loop. Uh, similar to the previous problem, they've got the bare bones for us here. They've got a call to a method, make a tree, but we need to implement um, make a tree. So I'm going to do this similar to the way I did the previous one except now I'm going to go from 1 to 9. The reason why I'm going to go from 1 to 9 is that on the bottom row here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we're going to do 9 stars. Now, I'm going to kind of do this in stages. So for starters, I'm going to do the inside loop also from 1 to 9. like that. And if we just do system dot out dot print an asterisk. And then when we're done with that loop, if we do system dot out dot print line, this should just give us a nine by nine grid of asterisks. Hello, code HS, maybe. Okay, so that's just a 9x9 nine nine grid of asterisks. And I think we probably want some spaces in there. I think in the, um, in the instructions they have spaces in between them. But now on the top row, we don't want to do 9 asterisks. We just want to do 1. So... So I don't want to print out nine asterisks on the top row. I want to print out eight spaces and then one asterisk. So I think I want to do something like this. System.out.print a space every time through the loop. And then if I if j is less than or equal to i, 
then print an asterisk. Now this might have me one too many spaces, but something like that. Okay, so this J loop got me the asterisk in the wrong place. I think I want, if that's less than I, okay, let me go the other direction. Let me say it's greater than 9 minus I. So, And when i is 1, 9 minus i is 8, and only when j is greater than 8 will we print the asterisk. Let's try that. Ooh, that looks very close, but I have a feeling it's going to fail the check because of not having spaces exactly in the right spot. So, they want an extra space at the very beginning of each of these lines and an extra space at the very end of each of those lines. So if I do this J starting at zero, I wonder if that will help part of that out. So that helped out my spaces at the beginning because I forgot in this original document even when we're doing all nine asterisks we're still doing a space at the beginning and so where are we off now we're off by a space at the end so maybe just something like that Instead of just going down to the next line, printing a space and then going down to the next line. Now, I got to tell you, there's probably different ways of messing with this number and this number and this argument here. But it's pretty easy to get this to print out. It's not as easy to get the spaces exactly the way they want the spaces. But anyways, I think this accomplishes that task. So let's go on to the last one, 4.4.8, which is on a multiplication table. So they want us to make a multiplication table. Once again, that's going to be a nested loop. Int i equals 1 and i less than or equal to 10, and i plus plus, and then int j equals 1, j less than or equal to 10, j plus plus, and then let's, for starters, try this out, system.out.print i times j followed by a space and then when we're done with that loop then system.out.print line a blank line let's see how that what that gets for us okay that's almost beautiful how did they get that to line up so nicely it says right here that they used backslash t which is backslash tab. So instead of doing a space, let's do a backslash tab. Let's see what that gets us. Okay, so that's a little bit farther spaced out than theirs is, but at least everything's lined up. And the top row is 1 to 10, and the bottom row is 10 to 100. I think that's looking okay. All right, so we are done with Nitro 4.4. Woohoo!